Hey guys, it's Doug, how's it going? As we inch closer to fall here, it's Wednesday and that means another fall candle review. Brief aside here guys, apologies for the lighting. I know that the lighting is dismal here. It's later at night when I'm shooting this. It's the only time I've had to, uh, to do this. So again, apologies for that. And I have actually a daylighter, a Kringle candle. This is salted caramel apples. Now I'll show you what the full candle looks like right here. Flash it up on the screen. And uh, even this has a gorgeous little, uh, you know, little label on it. I, I love the style of this. So this is, I think, the first country candle I've done on my channel here. And country candle, of course, is a, is a brand of Kringle. And it's designed to be more after the traditional style Yankee, you know, the Yankee look with a house warmer jar, except the, the candles are actually two wicks. So I have actually acquired every single country candle fall, um, whether it's a full jar candle or one of these daylighters. Uh, and as far as Kringle goes, I have almost all of the fall scents in either a daylighter or as a wax melt that they sell. So you're gonna see them throughout the uh, season here. But I'm really excited to talk about a few of them. And this is the first one that I wanted to talk about for a very specific reason. So before I get into the actual scent on this, you can see here, there's no wick. I've melted it. And these work great as melts. Man, this, this scent is, it's strong already coming throughout here. And this, this melt uh, is almost, you know, the daylight is almost spent actually. Um, and more on that in a second here. But what I do, I just pour them out or dump them out. They actually come out pretty easy. You can put them in the freezer otherwise. You can see here, um, and uh, you can see on this picture here that I'm putting on screen, I just set it in there, melt it. As soon as it melts in my little uh, $5, you know, uh, Walmart melter, I just pull the wick out and bam, there you go. It's, uh, it's melts, you know, basically a wax melt with no candle wick in it. Um, the daylighter here, these things are awesome. I mean, they're like a jacked up tea light, but when you melt them or burn them, because I burned them before too, they are super strong. I mean, they punch way above their weight. These things put Yankee house warmer jars to shame, or at least a lot of them do. Now, I know with some of the Yankee performance, that's really not saying much, but still, um, when I, I melted this and several of the other ones that I've already done for a review that I haven't, I haven't uh, posted yet, but I have them done, um, they are just super strong. And I found out, I think they list that these are supposed to last like around 12 hours of burn time, actually. As far as melting goes, I put this one, it's, it's right at about 10 hours. And while it's starting to wane, it's still strong. I know some of the other ones, um, there's a, a leaves one actually that I've done for over 15 and it's still going strong. And I know that there's another one that I've done, one of the uh, cider scents that actually was about, you know, dead around, I don't know, seven hours or so. So it does vary, but the strength has been there on all of them. I have not had one that's weak. And again, these are, you know, these are small. They're, they're not very big, but they just punch way above their weight class. They remind me of melt cups in the, uh, in the way that how strong they are, but why did I want to do this one to start with? So again, salted caramel apples. This is, uh, this is an amazing scent. This is one of my favorite fall scents now. And, you know, I, I can't talk about this without talking about Cider Lane, the famous Bath and, Bath and Body Works candle. That was uh, one of the first candles I actually reviewed for my channel. Um, and it's kind of embarrassing for me to listen now because I obviously was really stumbling over my words more than I usually do even now um, Just as I was kind of learning how to do this, but yeah, it's on my channel uh, cider lane I actually did a written review of it for spookyvillages.com as well around then cider lane is one of my favorite uh, Fall candles in general. It's one of my favorite Bath and Body Works candles. So this is similar Now I'm using that for reference just because so many people know what that candle is, right? If you like uh, caramel apple scents that's what Cider Lane is, and you probably love Cider Lane. In my opinion, this scent is better. The reason for that is you actually get more salt here. Uh, well, you don't get any salt in, uh, in Cider Lane. That's more of a straight up, just a, a straight, fresh dipped uh, caramel apple, a Granny Smith caramel apple. This, you get salt, it's a little more savory, and I think the caramel is actually, um, it's like a richer, almost like a you know, not butter, but sort of that, that buttery note, I guess. It's just a, just a more rich and savory caramel. And for that reason, I give this the nod. It's just, it's an amazingly authentic candle. And uh, the Bath & Body Works one is too. I know that, you know, for so many of the Bath & Body Works candles, it's one of the knocks is they can be nice, but they're not authentic. Cider Lane is really authentic. It's just that Cider Lane has a sweeter uh, caramel versus this. I just love, love, love the salted note here. It's, uh, it, it's not a heavy salt note by any means, but um, it's just, uh, it makes it extra savory for me. That's, that's more my style, you know, what I like. And of course the apple, it's like a fresh, you know, you just bit into an apple, um, very authentic, you know, for that. It's just, uh, 
Again, authenticity is the name of the game here, and this candle just it, it uh, delivers it, or the wax melt here, as it, as it were. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful scent. You know, uh, I mentioned it in my review of Cider Lane, but these caramel apple scents, they actually, it's like a mid to late summer scent for me more than it is traditional fall for maybe, you know, like some people. Uh, because I'm out at county fairs a bunch. I do motorsports photography for several fair boards around here. I've done it for a while. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm around the carnivals and uh, in the county fairs. And of course, you're going to get candy and caramel apples at all those places, right? And I love the dessert. I love the snack. And uh, there's actually a store at my mall, a, like a high-end candy store, and they do them, and it's it's really really nice. So, and that's that it, that's what it reminds me of because they have one that's um, sea salt caramel, actually is what I think they call it, and uh, it's delicious. And that's that's pretty much what this is here, you know, in the uh, in the jar or the uh, the little jar, as it were. Man, yeah, it's so nice. Again, this thing is uh, almost spent. You know, at around 10 hours, you can the curve is definitely going down for the strength, but um, it's just it's been powerful and uh, just uh, it, you know lovely scent. Really, really impressed with these things. I know that you know Kringle and Country Candle can be expensive because they rarely go on sale, but I'm telling you guys, um, try the Daylighters if nothing else. If there's some scents you think you'd like. For sure, just try them out. They're three bucks, and I know sometimes you can get deals on them, like they have twenty percent off or other things like that. And uh, it's definitely worth trying that out. The country candles that I've had have kind of varied in performance. We'll get into those shortly here because I have several of them. One of them is absolutely astounding, though. I'm excited to talk about that, but I want to wait for later in the season for that particular one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, I do have several jars that I'll talk about here too. Uh, but as far as the Kringle goes. Um, these are just as strong in the Kringle as they are the Country Candle line. And actually, if you wanted to do wax melts, you can only do this for Country Candle, the Daylighters. They don't actually sell wax melts. They only do that for the Kringle line, at least as of when this video is live. That's how it is. So, again, guys, that is my take on salted caramel apples. Beautiful, beautiful caramel apple scent. This is amazing. If you like Cider Lane, try this one. Um, it's even if you li if you wind up liking Cider Lane better because it's a little bit sweeter. This is still worth trying, in my opinion. And uh, heck, Cider Lane's not out yet. Anyway, so there's your excuse, right? We have about I don't know, a month and a half. I mean, it's not announced actually if Cider Lane's going to come back, but I would assume it would. Uh, just it's a you know it's a classic Bath and Body Works scent. But um, yeah, uh, really really love this Country Candle scent. A uh, really nice way to um, kind of kick it off. So. You'll be seeing a lot more of Country Candle and Kringle on this channel throughout the fall. As again, I've acquired pretty much everything that they have, and I have all their Halloween stuff too, and I'm excited to talk about that. I know I've talked about Witch's Cauldron before on this channel, but you're going to hear me talk about it again as well as the others. So, All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.